I'm coming, Ma. Go ahead, daddy girly. Still sniffing? It's non stop with you. Come on, bud. Let's go. You're way too slow today. You dog walk. Now you're moving pretty good. That's finally. You finally warmed up. Okay, now we can start today's dog walk. She's finally moving. This will be a nice walk for today, and it's not hot. It's nice and cool. It's a good day today. No humidity. This is nice here. It's going to be a good dog walk today. There you go. Good girl. You're having a good time today. It's a good one for you. The wizard up there in the castle. The Wizard of Oz. You having a good time exploring? This is a good one for you today. It's a good dog walk. Ah, you're rolling already. Now you're happy. That's good. You're starting to loosen up a little bit. There it go. I see you, Mama. Yeah, Matundo. You ready to go to the top? Find the wizard? I think you're ready. It's a good dog walk for today. And it's a nice day today. It's not humid. It's perfect. All right, we're gonna go slow today, so we just make a little video for you. Then we'll go back and go to Rooney's house. It'll be a nice dog walk today. Pretty simple, we'll take our time, go slow, because she gets hot. She gets hot awful easy, even though it's not really that humid today. So we're just gonna take it easy just to do a video for today. There you go. It's going to take it easy. Nice and easy. Enjoy the weather. Have a nice little dog walk. Make a nice video for today. Nice here. Last time we came here, it was the fall. So it was a little brisk, and it was better for my dog. And the leaves are kind of colorful and stuff. And today's going to, still it's summer, but still a little hot for her. So we're just going to move along like turtles today. Maybe you go up on the overview up there. That's a pretty steep climb, about 60, 70 feet straight up. That'll be the end of the walk for today. At that point, she'll be burnt out. Nice today. It's beautiful. Nice sunlight. Humidity's low. It's still kind of hot, though, because my dog's already panting, so she's already hot. So we're going to have a little bit of tr trouble getting her up to the steeper parts. I don't know about that overview, but we're going to try. That'll be a nice video for today if I can get her to go up that. She seems to be hanging in there, though. This is good, bud. It's a nice walk for today. Nice dog walk. And we got a breeze, so that's going to help out a little bit. For the path that goes back to the parking lot, trailhead. And sh we're not even started yet, so we're not going to go back yet. We're just going to take a nice dog walk for today, though. We'll go slow. Yeah, it's a nice trail here. They keep this really nice here. It's definitely a good one. So it's a good choice for a dog walk for today. That gazebo up there. I remember the path, so I'm pretty sure there's a, a stream coming out of the mountains soon. My dog's gonna like that. She can go in and cool down a little bit now. Yeah. 
now, so she must sense water. This is a really a good trail, the Sugarloaf Trail in Cold Spring. Definitely, I recommend this one. It's, it's a nice hike. It's a nice breeze. Feels good. This is perfect for today. We all need exercise. Since uh, Silver Mines is closed down, we're not getting enough exercise now. There's no way to get there. They don't have it repaired yet. And that was my training place. Actually, I brought Bella all the time. That was her training place too. We miss that. The ski slope. That's where I do my leg workout, my cardiovascular workout. Either running to the top on one side or hiking real fast to the top on the steep side. It was good for the heart, good for the leg muscles, for both Bella and I. We really missed that one and it's close to my house, so kind of disappointed they didn't fix it yet. Five, a distance to find different hiking trails that I can get a cardiovascular workout on. You're almost to the stream, I think. Pretty sure there's a stream up ahead, unless it's dried up. You're at the junction now. I think you found, oh, I think there's a stream there. Yes, there is. Good girl, you found it. Tree just snapped. It's huge. Yeah, the storm wiped out some big trees up here too. A mudslide coming out of the mountain during the storm. Comes all the way down here, unless a, a lot of debris on the road here. This, this was, wow. Yeah, the storm wiped out a lot of stuff here. Too. Pretty bad now. The storm left a lot of damage here. Wiped out a lot of stuff, brought a lot of debris down. But you do still have water here, so that's good. What's left of it? Get some water there. That, it's not deep, though. So we're going to start heading up the steep slope now. We try to make some good time so we can get back. Point where there's a fence and then you go left and it goes up, it starts to go up a steep climb now. And we'll try to get to that other section where we uh, go to the overview and climb up that. Hopefully my dog can make that today. I hear her puffing and puffing again. Her cardiovascular system needs a little more exercise, I think, and some weight loss. You ready, Ma? We're going to start to head up. We're not gonna. We're not gonna have all day to sniff. We have to make it to the top, and then get back because we have things to do today. There's a lot of debris from the storm, so it would be a little bit slippery coming down with all them loose rocks. We're going to the top, all the way to the top. It's a steep climb. I'm right behind you. That a girlie. Good girl, Bella. Good girl. Food for it. She wants to go down to the water. <laughs> you can go down. It's okay. I'll wait for you. How it's far not down deep. The water? It's not far down for her. It's easy. Not for me. Well, when you go to certain places, the it's water. The the ground is like soaked with water. So it depends where you are. But these gorges. I'll take her. I'll take her to the Beacon Park after this and let her swim there because that's not too bad. She can just go in and swim. Oh. And she likes it up there, and it's easier to get home from there too. Well, Top. That a girly. Good girl. Good girl. You can't get down here. It's not a lot of water. It's low. It's just a stream. It's out from the storm. It's hard to walk on this trail now. Going down is going to be pretty rough. The last time we, this was a beautiful trail. It's ruined now. It's just a giant gorge now instead of a trail. Really in bad shape. We're almost on the, on the top where it levels off a little bit. Looks like the storm with the water created a whole new trail and it's really bad. Part of the trail, that's where the water came out of the mountain. 
created a whole new trail and flooded out everything. Yeah, the whole trail is nothing but a giant dugout gorge now, all the way down. So, pretty interesting dog walk today, bud. This is pretty cool. Pretty dangerous. It's going to be kind of slippery going down with all those loose rocks. I was coming up. I seen a, a, a hiker coming down at the same time, slip and to fall on those loose rocks and take a bad fall. And the hiker is warning me about how slippery and dangerous it is now going down. Jungle up here, like we're on top of the escarpment in the Tarzan movie. Really green, really thick foliage. It's, it's beautiful now. This is intense. Oh, it's gorged out from the water flow during the storm. It's, it was a beautiful trail, but it's not now. It's kind of a pain to walk. We're going to make it, Ma. We'll go a little bit further, maybe up to the top of the overlook if we get there. This is pretty thick foliage up here now. I'm not really sure about this trail now. It seems to be different. Yeah, I think we can make it. We're going to try. We don't have a lot of time today because we got to go somewhere. So we might have to cut this short today. Let's see if we're close now or not. Light up ahead. So we're reaching the, the summit a little bit now. That's a good sign. Maybe we can make that, that other one, the overview, and still get back in time. We're going to try. We're going to give it our best shot. Kundalini seems to be doing okay. She's hot, but she's moving okay. Yeah, we're close to the summit now. We could take a rest there or we go slow. So Kundalini can not burn out with getting overheated today. Getting near the top so I can see the Hudson River down there now. So we're getting up pretty high now. Hey, right now, I see the Hudson down there below. I remember this tree last time we were here, and it was colored leaves, it was the fall. I don't think you should climb on that today, Kundalini. I don't trust it. Looks like it's kind of rotten now. I don't want you to fall down there. It's the top now. Maybe we can make that overview, and then we'll go back. No, no, you gotta, you're going the wrong way. We're not going down yet. Bella! I don't want you to get lost. There's a lot, the foliage is thick. I can't find you up here. You got to stay pretty close so I can see you. She's starting to get pretty hot now. So we'll have to take it step by step and see how it plays out. If she gets too hot, then we'll just go back. I don't want her to get too too overheated. You're almost there, Ma. You're almost there. Take your time. Nice and slow today. I don't want you to get too overheated. We're at, the sun is being blocked by the foliage, so it's not so hot. And you got a nice breeze now, so this is nice. A nice vine down there and swing through the, the jungle on that. I see you, bud. I'm right behind you. Be careful, there's poison snakes in there. That's a swamp. That's dangerous. Be careful. I know you're hot, but I don't want you to get bit by snakes. There's moccasins in there. Go. Good girl. Good girl. Close to the entrance for the overview. We'll try to do that today, and then we're going to head back because we don't have a lot of time today. I see the baobab tree up there, so I think we're almost at the entrance. You're covered in black mud. You look like a giant wood turtle. Oh, man. That's, and you stink like the swamp. Wow, that's bad, bud. 
We're gonna have to wash you in the Hudson River. Fine. I think that's the, we go right now, we go up to the top of the overview. Maybe we won't go all the way up today, we don't have a lot of time. We'll just do a little bit today and then head back so we get, get a nice dog walk for you. Yeah, we're gonna go to the right and see if we can do the overlook and then get back, because it's late. This will be good cardio workout today. We only need to go to the top. We don't need to do the whole thing today, just to get some exercise until they get silver mines fixed up. That's the, this will be our new exercise area. Stay out of the, the swamp, you, there's snakes. Yeah, I remember this climb, it's a steep climb. It's like 60, 70 feet straight up when we get around that curve there through the foliage. Tons of mosquitoes in here. So we're gonna try our best to get up to the top of this and get back, these mosquitoes. That's it, we gotta hurry up. We don't have a lot of time. We're gonna go to the top. We need more exercise. We're both fat. We gotta lose about 50 pounds each. What are we? We're going to the top. Good girl. We got to make it to the top. We still got about 50, 60 feet to go. Made it. It's the military. It's the military. Good girl. We're doing it, bud. We're doing it. Still going up. Got about another 60 feet. We're not even close to the end yet. There they go. Good girl. Almost there, Ma. Then we'll rest up and then we'll head back for today. Take you swimming in the Hudson River. Get that. That's the last top. We're almost at the top. Another 40 feet. We're up at the top. And we did it. And that's it for today. Then we're going to. Actually, it's another 60, 70 feet to the top. Up there. It's actually not a big deal. We can shut this down for today because we don't have a lot of time. Still was a nice little workout, nice dog walk. We need the exercise, so that was good. You take a rest and we'll head down. We'll go slow because it's muddy from all that rain. It's slippery. We're going to head home. i got to clean you off in the Hudson. Get some of that mud off you. It's pretty bad. Come on, Ma. Head on down. We'll get going down to the bottom now. We have to go slow. It's a lot of loose rocks and stuff from that storm. Definitely slippery. We're going to head to the bottom. We're going to get back. So we got a little bit of a drive to get back. And we got to eat some food. So we got to get the food, the supplements, get you all set up. And wash that mud off you. It stinks. It's okay, Rick. I'm coming. I'm right behind you. It was a good workout for today. It was nice. We needed that. We need the exercise. Behind you, I'm coming. We're going to head right to the bottom and get right down so we can get back to the car, the trailhead. We're getting there. We're almost at the bottom, and we can go swimming when we get you to the Hudson. Clean that mud off, so you don't stink so much. It's okay, Ma. We're almost at the bottom, and we're going to head on down. All them loose rocks that got washed out with the storm. It's going to be kind of slippery. I see you. I'm almost there. You look like a statue. Maybe you're looking for Bigfoot again. Not yet, it's not time yet. It's not cold yet. They only come out in the snow. 
It's a nice dog walk for today. Good exercise. Ah, uh, we're at the bottom again finally. Now we can head down to the other trail, get back to the trailhead, give you a swim and we'll go home and call it a day. There's the, the sign. To the junction. Bear left and let's head down. Yeah, it's all dug up. The whole trail's pretty bad now. The whole way down is not going to be fun. Easy swamp again. I hope you don't go in there again. That's kind of scary with those snakes. Along pretty fast so we can get down to the bottom pretty fast. Whole trail, all dug up from the storm. All these rocks and it's not, it used to be a nice trail here to walk on. It's not now. It's not comfortable. We shouldn't take too long now because it's all down the side of the mountain now. Just got to be careful on the loose rocks. They're really slippery. I've seen somebody fall before. We're making good time. That's good. We're moving fast. It's a poison snake. It's to get really messed up from that storm. Nothing but loose rocks all the way down in a, the rain. The, the water cut out a giant gorge on the trail all the way down. So it really bad because that snake back there almost bit you. I told you to stay away from the snakes. We're going to start heading down soon when we get around that turn there. And it's going to be a little bit iffy with all the loose rocks. We have to outrace that snake. That thing was moving pretty fast. We're doing okay. We're making up. We're making pretty good time. At another junction, but I believe we're going to turn left and go down. I repeat, turn left and go down. Oh. If you go down, you go into some private property. We need to go right and then down. The trail got really ruined in the storm. Can be a lot of loose rocks and it's a deep gorge cut through the whole trail. So tread slowly, my man. Tread slowly. It's destroyed. It's nothing but loose rocks that roll and a gorge cut right through the center of the trail. It's definitely not a good hiking trail anymore. It feels like walking on giant marbles. I just stepped on a bunch of rocks and went rolling. It's slippery. Okay, Ma, we're going to get to the bottom. That's where the hikers were before. Oh, somebody fell there. They were telling me about how slippery it was. In here, you can't see, but it's nothing but dug up rocks now from the water, the water that came down during the storm. And they all roll. It's slippery now. You actually have to straddle this thing to, to hike down it now. I remember the last time it was a nice path. You could just hike right down the trail. Now you have to straddle it and hope that you don't hit the loose rocks. I did see somebody fall before, and they were complaining about it too. It's, it's pretty slippery now. Big gorgeous cut in this thing all the way down. Lots of mud, lots of loose rocks that when you step on them, they just roll. You can actually snap your ankle. Peter came do, fell down during the storm. Crossed the whole ravine there. Actually, my dog is down there now. She found the water again. Yeah, that a girly! Be careful with those snakes down there, though. I already seen one before, so you can get the water, but you can't swim in that. It's not deep. But just be careful in there. I can't climb down there. That's steep, about 60 feet down. I don't know how you got down there. I thought that was built into the, the trail, but it's not. That's just a tree that went across the ravine. This trail is chopped up. That storm destroyed it. It's a nice trail here. But they, these deep gorges, you could break your ankle in this stuff. I wouldn't recommend hiking up here in the dark. Deep gorge, it was dug up by the, the, the storm. You step in that, you're going to break your whole leg. Kundalini handles it, no problem, though. She's a mountain dog. This is She's at home here. This is great. Near the bottom now. We're not going to go that way. That's a, that's a shortcut, but we're not going to do that. We're going to go the way we came. It's a little bit more stable with these loose rocks. Good girl. Yeah, that storm did a lot of damage. Can't believe this. Um, down here, it's a lot of loose rocks. It's not as bad as up there with the gorges, but 
these loose rocks, they roll as soon as you step on them. So if you're not concentrating, you're gonna go flying on your ass. Or flying forward and break bones. Kunalini's doing good though. She just flies right over them like nothing. Almost ready to go right. Then we'll head back to the way we came in. It's faster that way. It's really kind of slippery with all them loose rocks, but we did it and it was a nice dog walk so far. We're heading home now. We're good now. We're almost back to where we're going to turn left and go across the field. Back to the trailhead. Hut. Maybe we'll sleep there tonight. At least we'll have shelter. It was a slow start, but we're doing pretty good now. We're moving along pretty fast now. Kundalini's doing pretty good today, actually. Yeah, she's moving fast now. It's okay. Keep moving, because we're close to the trailhead now. You're doing good today. You're the leader of the pack today. You're the leader today, which is good. It's your day today. You're almost there. Keep moving. It's ready to turn left. We're gonna have to wash you in the Hudson River. You stink. We'll give you a little bit of a shower when we get back. Little hill, and we're almost ready to turn left and cut through the field to the trailhead. Been a nice dog walk today. I think Kundalini, she seems to be okay. She did all right today. Got a little overheated, but Overall, it did pretty good. Oat is washed out here, and it's a loose soil. So that storm was pretty bad. It really did a lot of destruction to things. We made it back to the trail, to go back to the field, to the trailhead. So it's about another 100 feet through the grass, and then we're at the trailhead, and that's... Can't do too much filming now. The battery's on red, so the battery lost the charge already. And of today's dog walk. Time! We're in the red. We got a little power, maybe we can still save it. Come on, Mama! Fight it back! Fight it back! It was a good dog walk for today. Yeah, good! This is the end of today's dog video. Time! That's a wrap!